Hi, welcome to my t Minecraft tower, and as the sun rises on my Minecraft world, um, there's going to be a lack of editing in this video since I haven't got that much sleep, but uh, I'm using the new texture pack, so everything looks a hell of a lot better. Still looks like shit, but it still looks a hell of a lot better, and I'm going to give you guys a quick tour. So first, this is the spawn point you spawn into the world on. Put a little minecart here, and you uh, go down this tower in this big roller coaster underground. This roller coaster is really long. It goes underground in caves underwater. Um, eventually, you'll see it'll hit the ocean and lead into my dock slash basement. Um, this took hours and hours to make, but uh, it was worth it, especially if you die and it's at night. Um, as you see right now, this is the dock. Um, here's the texture pack again. I build a powered minecart, and with that, I can send it back up the line to the spawn point. Um, this is this is the dock. It's in my basement, so it's like an indoor dock kind of thing, a dock house. Um, I've got all the ships there, and torches on the dock, so you can see there's the house. Or should I say tower? I keep calling it a house, but it's really a gigantic skyscraper. Um, so next, uh, before I show you the house, I'm going to show you my mine, and which leads way, way, way underground. And um, then it goes deeper. And this is the um, second level right here, as you can see. Uh, it's pretty cleared out. I got a lot of, uh, this was actually a small mine I just completely cleared out. And this is the third level. Yeah, I actually dug so deep that that black stuff you see right there, that's bedrock. You can't break that. That's the lowest level you can get in Minecraft. So I think, uh, this is like sub-level 128 or something crazy like that. But that goes back forever, if you saw it right there. Um, I, uh, that, I used all that cobblestone, trust me. You'll see that in a second. Um, that's an old mine right there that's retired. This this place is also huge and cleared out for cobblestone. Um, you see this sign right here, Big Creepy Cave Continued. Um, there's a gigantic cave, basically, system under here that all my little mines, it turned out, linked into. So, um, I've pretty much exhausted most of it just by, um, getting resources. But anyway, enough of the mine right there. It's, you know, kind of dumb. Um, I'm going to show you the upstairs of the house now. So this is um, the stairs that lead into the basement. Um, I've got a button and an iron door here so creatures can't get up in there instead of an automatic. This is the foyer, as you see. Um, it's got lava going down. It produces light. It's uh, really cool, I think. That's the crafting area right there. These are my automatic doors. As you can see, they uh, all swing open and the iron doors are uh, powered by a button. Out here is, you get to see the tower from the outside and my moat of fire, which I think is really cool. Um, and the rest of this video is pretty much just self-explanatory. Honestly, um, I'll show off the nether at one point eventually, but I mean, there really isn't much to say. Um, so, just watch the rest of the tour and, uh, enjoy.
So that emergency um, quick fall system pretty much ends the tour. Um, as you saw, the nether and everything's reskinned and pretty cool. There's, there's probably thousands and thousands of blocks put in to make this giant monstrous place. Um, every floor is filled in. No furniture or anything like that, but um, that's it. You know, it took me forever, but um, hope I didn't bore you too much with this seven minute video. But if you guys are wondering what the hell Searing's been doing with his life for the past two weeks, well, this is uh, pretty much it. So, uh, catch you later.